side seats. These can connect to the bumper. I bought those first because I had a rollover. I'll show you guys the video of this later on. All right, guys, it is 15 millimeter bolts. You'll need a 15 millimeter socket, 3H drive, and a 15 millimeter wrench. That's all I'm explaining here. A 15 millimeter. So, head to that bolt 15 millimeter. Same for that bolt 15 millimeter. The nuts are the same, 15 millimeter. All right, here, guys, I'm talking about I have a backup camera on the front and the back of my machine just to let you guys know because of audio quality is terrible because of my heater in my shop. But that's all I'm explaining at this point. To be honest with you guys, it might be smart to get a partner to hold the rear bumper up while you get your two bolts lined up to take the weight off you. It definitely will make it easier. All right, guys, here on installing the bottom part of the bumper, if you don't got the taillight guards, you don't have to worry about that part of it. It won't put a struggle on you or have to line the uh, taillight guards up like I had to in this part of the video when I was hitting on them. Now in this part of the video, what I'm trying to do guys is get the short 15 millimeter bolts that's supplied with the bumper 
just get it started on that side so then you can let it loose and don't have to worry about it falling back on you. Um, I've already got the bottom bolt in. That's the longer bolt on the bottom of the bolt. I mean, I'm sorry, on the bottom of the bumper. And that's just keeping the weight off so I can balance it and get everything snugged up. right here you'll have to loosen up your tail light guards to get enough planet so you can bolt them down to your rear bumper now the guys that is not running the tail light guards you just skip this step and go ahead and snug up your bumper and call it a night i appreciate you guys watching please subscribe like and share with all your friends and uh, we appreciate it thank you guys Finishing touches of the bumper. Rear bumper, we're just gone. Don't look too bad at all. Ran me about $350 just for the bottom section, not counting the tail light guards, just the bottom section. Don't look too shabby, guys. Here's a little view of my KRX.
please hit the like subscribe button and then see you next time thanks for watching